Today's uh, tutorial is about uh, how to use uh, pseudo potentials in uh, in calculations where you have heavy elements. So uh, first, we are going to describe how to use pseudo potentials for uh, Popel type basis sets, and later on we'll go to other uh, other basis sets like Huzinaga and uh, etc. So uh, let's just draw a heavy molecule so um, I have drawn here methyl iodide um, so methyl iodide uh, you know carbon and hydrogen and iodine so iodine is a heavy element and if you want to use simple popal type basis set you cannot use on it and for that we, are, we will be going to use uh, those uh, pseudo potentials on it and uh, to do this um, we'll go to calculate Gaussian calculation setup and here uh, I'm just going to set up an optimization and uh, in the method probably on the on the remaining molecule I I'm going to use the purple type basis set that is uh, 61g and uh, for uh, for iodine I want to use the uh, the other basis set uh, which is called uh, the pseudo potential So um, here you can uh, you cannot choose the basis set right away. So I'll I'll choose Gen over here, and then uh, we'll edit the file to to put the basis set in there um, for iodine. And uh, how will we do it? I'll just go to Edit and save the file, like uh, any one, two, three, anything. Save it. So now here we got the file and uh, we have told it to, to use the general generic basis set and uh, we also need to tell it to uh, pseudo is equal to read. Um, if we don't tell it this, this keyword, it doesn't read the uh, pseudo potential and it will end up in an error. So what we'll do is just where the the file is finished uh, we can we can write like in this molecule we have carbon hydrogen and that's it if we have like nitrogen chlorine whatever we can add it over here and then we say zero and in the next line I will tell what basis set to use for these um, so this is 61 G probably DP and uh, then you put four stars this is the the way uh, we do it in Gaussian and uh, now I will let it know that for iodine zero I want to use the pseudo potential LAN L to D Z and then I put four stars and one empty line and iodine zero and LAN L to D Z so that's how um, it is done and then I will just um, press enter to to leave a few empty lines at the end and this is necessary like if you don't leave any empty line at the end your calculation won't uh, end up uh, successfully um, so after that I can simply save it and run the calculation and it will run the calculations with uh, uh, the popal type this one basis set on carbon and hydrogen but on iodine it will use the pseudo potential so Pseudo potential is actually used to simplify the treatment of heavy atoms um, in quantum mechanical calculations. So, uh, because in those heavy elements, the uh, relativistic effects become significant, and uh, um, if we if we calculate the number of core electrons and uh, we calculate them fully, it becomes computationally quite expensive. So, pseudo potentials make it uh, easier that uh, instead of calculating all the core electron, they put a pseudo potential over there and uh, only calculate the valence electrons that are necessary, like which are actually taking part in the bonding. So that is how we run a calculation. So I'll just save it, okay, and close it. So if I submit the job, it started running and you can see that uh, it, there is no error and uh, it is running successfully. So 
that is how uh, you calculate the pseudo potential like this is finished if I click OK you can see that the optimized molecule is over there and uh, yes it has been optimized using the pseudo potentials on the opal type basis sets so thank you very much for watching if you have any question related to this you can uh, you can ask in the comments and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible so for the uh Huzinaga type basis sets we'll cover it in a different video later on thank you very much bye bye